morning, our third day here in St. Petersburg, Russia. Today it's cloudy, it looks like it's going to rain, so perfect day to visit churches and museums. We're starting by visiting the Church of the Savior on Spilblood. It has this name because it was built on a site where a former Russian Tsar was murdered, Alexander II. This church is famous for the mosaics. In fact, 7,500 square meters of mosaics. Beautiful. Yeah, you heard it right. These are not paintings. The French like my equipment. They're interested in me vlogging here. Next stop, the Hermitage. The Hermitage is the second largest museum in the world, only after the Louvre. It's a museum of art and culture. And uh, it was founded in 1754, which makes it one of the oldest in the world, too. A mistake that many people make here is stay in line. There are hundreds of people waiting in line to buy the tickets. And you can just buy tickets at the machines. They're basically empty the whole time and then you just go straight through. The museum is so big that it can easily get lost. You know, so the best thing to do is to either get an audio guide, it's paid here, or you download uh, the audio guide from the museum's app. And there are various tours you can choose from. We chose the three hour tour, but if you want, you can spend the whole day here. Here they offer 15 minutes of free Wi-Fi, so it's perfect. Just a perfect time for you to download the app if you haven't done it yet. The collection is spread throughout multiple buildings. We entered from the Winter Palace, which was the official residency of Russian Tsars between the 1700s and 1917, when Russia became communist. That's an attraction by itself. This room here is dedicated to the founder of St. Petersburg, Peter the Great. He never lived here though. All columns covered with gold. It all started as a private collection by Catherine the Great, a Russian monarch. In 1764, she purchased her first paintings. And look at what it became. Look at how hard it is to get close to the Vinci painting. an interesting artwork by Michelangelo. To start with, it's the only Michelangelo artwork in Russia. But uh, what's funny about it, it's because it was commissioned by an Italian family and they decided to not paint it in the end. So he said, okay, then I'm not finishing it. And you can clearly see his feet are unfinished. dedicated to the Russian victory over Napoleon when he tried to invade Russia. People like to look.
they have artwork from ancient civilizations and all art movements throughout history. Our three hour tour turned into five and still didn't see everything. We ended up skipping lunch and going straight to dinner. Are you enjoying the tour so far? Then subscribe to my channel. In St. Petersburg there are over 500 bridges, 90 rivers and canals over 300 kilometers of waters. No wonder it's considered the Venice of the North. So, you gotta do boat tours here. We're going for another. I'm getting everything. <laughs> There are tours in English too, but very few, and their schedule didn't match our schedule. So that's how we ended up in a Russian tour. Of course it was beautiful, you know, you see the canals, the constructions, everything from a different angle. But I think it would have been interesting to understand. Got any question about St. Petersburg? Then get in touch. The floor is heated here. It feels fantastic. 